Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into today's video. Today we got a big one. I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the katana, the sledgehammer, and the new street sweeper shotgun all in Cold War Zombies. But first off, I'm going to show you guys this is 100% legit. Look at this, dude. We got it. Ooh! He got me going there. Yo, he got me dancing. Look at this beautiful katana, man. It acts almost the exact same to the regular melee weapon within the game. You also have the steak knife within this game, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. They look so beautiful. But yeah, this is actually not supposed to be out yet. I believe this is coming out sometime in January. But for some reason, there is a glitch that allows you to unlock it right now. And I don't know why this glitch is in the game. I don't know why it's in war zone of all places but let's get into it to unlock the katana it is a war zone based challenge it is not available on cold war you have to play war zone for this and in war zone to get the katana specifically if you do not care about the sledgehammer if you do not care about the street sweeper all you need to do is get two finishers per war zone match 10 times so you have to do that 10 times. Two finishers, which means you gotta go up. You gotta have the Black Ops Combat Knife equipped in your loadout. And what you need to do is when you go into Warzone, you need to count two finishers each game. I believe that the pre-game lobby can also allow you to get these uh, actual finishers while you're playing Warzone. And you can play any mode. You can play Resurgence. You can play Plunder. You can literally play anything. But once you unlock it in Warzone, you can literally bring it back into Cold War Zombies along with the Sledgehammer and also the street sweeper now all three of these guns have separate challenges so boys let me know if you guys would like to see more videos with these i'm actually going to be streaming live right now at the twitch.tv so make sure to click down below if you guys want to see more gameplay of them i'm going to be trying to get these guys level uh, uh max level really and just going for dark ether on them oh this is going to be a lot of fun but yeah this wakazashi is insane because it's a little bit better than the melee because of the fact that it has a longer range and oh my goodness that is special the animation looks beautiful and i don't think a lot of people know that you can actually get these weapons in cold war zombies but yeah the wakazashi like i said the easiest way that i would recommend getting it is go into warzone right and literally just load up plunder because the greatest part about plunder is you can just continuously respawn and just hunt people down the map what i like to do is i like to run a riot shield class with a black ops combat knife in the secondary it has to be a black ops combat knife it cannot be be anything with the skin you can't put a camo on it it literally just needs to be the base black ops combat knife make sure you're also not using the modern warfare one and as you guys can see as well you can actually level up the wakazashi which is insane so once you bring these weapons back into uh from warzone into cold war you can level them up in zombies which is incredible because what that means to me is that there's no way that they can take out these guns once you unlock them so like i said i don't know if this glitch is going to be around for much longer so make sure if once you see this video that you go right into warzone and get it it only took me an hour to really get the two finishers 10 times for the wakazashi but like i said boys run the ride shield run stun grenades and then run another class with heartbeat sensor literally drop superstore every time and go for the assassinations it's gonna be rough it's gonna be uh really bad a lot of the times because people are gonna shoot you they're gonna take you down mid animation but there are some upsides you actually can assassinate someone when they're down in, in the down state so you can kill people with a regular gun you don't necessarily have to run a ride shield but you have to make sure that you swap out to your black ops combat knife and then do the finisher and also another upside is once you get the two finishers in your plunder games you can just leave the game so you can just continuously keep adding on your score and getting more but let's talk about the sledgehammer and also the street sweeper so now these two challenges are a little bit different the sledgehammer is actually similar to the wakazashi so while you're getting the wakazashi if you manage to get it uh the way that you actually get the sledgehammer is you just do it five more times you have to get two finishers per warzone match 15 times so once you do that and you get the 15 times 
you will be able to unlock the sledgehammer. Now, I've not actually seen the sledgehammer in Cold War Zombies, but however, I have seen multiplayer gameplay of it, and I can tell you that it's probably one of the worst melee weapons ever, just because of the fact that it takes so long to just swing the sledgehammer and bring it down. But if you manage to get into Dark Ether, which is what I'm going to be trying to do, I think I'm going to be really excited doing that. Uh, so that is the sledgehammer. I don't know. Definitely not the worth it to get, especially because it takes longer than the Katonic to get. And the Katana looks way better in my opinion. Like, you can also level it up like I'm saying. It's just that easy. But also now, let's get into the last weapon that we have, dude. This is going to be the Street Sweeper. Now, the Street Sweeper was a shotgun that I thought for sure they were going to be adding into this game. I was like, bro, what happened to the Street Sweeper? It's the Striker that you can actually see in the Cold War Zombies gameplay. And the Striker is really easy to get as well. You just gotta load up into Warzone. Unfortunately, all of these challenges are in Warzone, so I'm sorry for anyone that doesn't like Warzone. You might want to just wait at that point. It'll only be about a month time for this to actually come in the game, but for someone like me that's literally willing to game Warzone to get this content, that is what I want to do, y'all. So load up Warzone, and for the Street Sweeper, it's 15 matches, so it's like the Sledgehammer. However, you don't have to do anything with the melee weapon. Obviously, you have to do it with the shotgun, so it's shotgun three kills rapidly with any sort of shotgun in the game to unlock the street sweeper 15 times so if you manage to get three kills rapidly in your warzone games you will be able to get the street sweeper in cold war zombies i'm going to be working on that in my live stream today so like i said boys make sure to hop in to that live stream and boys i also have some upgraded gameplay here so i'm going to switch to that as well we have the wakazashi here we are upgrading it oh my goodness dude look at this craziness so now you can actually upgrade it and they have the camels working on all of the melee weapons look at that animation when you pull it out Woo, that looking good G. i love the way that looks so yeah chat this is the way you upgrade the weapon this is how it all looks it looks incredible it feels great it's incredibly powerful i was able to one shot uh megatons with the ring of fire with it so it works exactly like the melee weapon and look at that inspect oh my gosh yeah with every camo as well with all three tiers of the pack punch it works perfectly so boys like i said if you want to unlock the katana in cold war zombies now Now's your chance because who knows they could be patching this today they could be patching this tomorrow so boys that's why i'm saying make sure you get online as soon as you possibly can to make sure that you unlock the katana because these are some great weapons you want to start leveling up along with the groza and the mac 10 for season one like i know season one has been dying out there and warzone seems to be like the only thing that's popping off with season one right now so ladies and gentlemen let me know what type of content you guys like me to post bro if you want me to post more warzone put a one in the chat dude that's what i'm gonna pick out dude i need to figure out if the guys want me to play more warzone but yeah let's recap it here to unlock the katana it's two finishers in 10 matches of warzone there's gonna be no official counter that shows your progress but if you get the two finishers and remember in your head it will be counting towards it unless it's patched and you're wasting your time but it'll only take an hour i promise uh, then the sledgehammer is two finishers in 15 matches and then the street sweeper is three rapid kills in 15 matches with any sort of shotgun so ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it for today's video. Look at this, dude. I didn't even have a jug, and I just instantly destroyed that Megaton. We love the Wakazashi Katana. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out to this video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all. Isn't that excellent, baby? Hop in the stream, baby. Hop in the stream.